back when the tape on. is back on. We are back on the record at 11, 21 a.m. Mr. Bernice, I just want to make sure that I get a copy of any videotape that was made at the beginning of the deposition when it was being monitored in the next room. Was that being recorded? It was not. It wasn't recorded. All right. Well, I want to count. The camera was on, but it was recorded. So there's no videotape, counsel. And you are entitled to copies of any videotape that are taken here today. I just want to make sure I get copies of any video and any audio tapes that have been made today at all. Since the Counsel, time you will get what you're entitled to, which is yes. a copy of everything. Mr. Bernice, that's agreed upon. Yes. Thank you. Now, may we proceed? Please. Thank you. Now, having conferred with Counsel, will you please read item one to yourself? Is there supposed to be a period at the end of this one here? You have a, a capital at the uh, third line here. What is I'm it? not sure what uh, is that with the, the intention of that communication. That is because the capital, the Y on the uh, U is capitalized because it is a defined term meaning you, Mr. Gensch. Capitalized, okay. Is there a question, Pen? I've asked him to read it first and indicate when he's finished reading it. And Mr. Berry, if you're preparing to go through this item by item with Mr. Gensch, uh, this uh, doc request has been uh, responded to, as you know, uh, in a timely fashion under Rule 34. And uh, those responses uh, prepared by counsel. Uh, and the uh, responses have been made uh, pursuant to the CSI document production uh, over the past uh, several weeks. Well, he was asked to bring documents today, sir. Now, Mr. Mr. Gensch? Well, all I'm saying, Mr. Berry, is that that's going to be a fruitless exercise for you to go through every single one of these items to ask him if he's brought documents here today. He has not brought any documents with him today, as he's already testified. I need to ask him. I have you? some documents with me, which I intend to produce to you in the afternoon. Uh, which are responsive to, I believe, one of the requests here, which I don't believe have been uh, produced uh, in the course of the CSI re response, uh, which, of course, has been going on practically daily since uh, November 4th, and over 240 boxes have produ been produced, up to a half a million documents. That's not correct, and you know it. Mr. Berry, could we please clarify you something? Exactly. You, you made an objection a moment ago that Mr. Gentry was represented by personal counsel, and you felt apparently it was improper. I didn't say it was improper. I just... I think it's, it's cute for uh, for the representative of the party to also be representing the uh, witness and then have another t attorney here so they can tag team. But I mean, it's it's, it's permissible within the rules. It's just cute. Was your deposition intended of Mr. Gensch as an individual or as a corporate representative? As a corporate representative. And that's what your document request obviously then was as a corporate representative. Proceed. Now, I intend to have the witness produce all responsive documents prior to the conclusion of his deposition. If you produce them in some other means, buried in some boxes, that is fine, counsel. But we have asked for those documents to be presented here today, and we expect them to be presented here today. Make your record, Mr. Berry, but the documents have been produced. They've been produced once, and that's all that you're entitled to. Well, if you want to spend the day uh, going through this item by item, asking him whether he's going to produce anything, it's a fruitless exercise. Are you now representing that he's not producing any of this stuff and that you have some, no, somewhere in the midst of all these documents that you claim to have produced, produced documents responsive to this request? We have presented to you a response to the request in a timely manner. That is your guideline. The materials okay, have counsel, been produced. Let me give you notice of a motion to compel compliance with this document request in accordance with the rules and not in the accordance with some kind of subterfuge of concealing and dozens of documents so we have to go find documents for this deposition uh, that are responsive to this request. Mr. You Mr. now have noticed we... Rule 34 requires us to produce documents in the normal course of business. This is that's a, what's been done. This 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 council, this, council, this request is directed... This request is directed at this particular witness. 
You just indicated he was here only as a corporate representative. I don't know how you, how you, how you want to leave this, Mr. He's, Gray, but would you go ahead with your deposition? We're here and we're wasting everyone's time. To the extent time. he's here as a personal, uh, and to the extent he's here uh, as Eva Jens, she's here in his personal capacity also. Well, now you've changed it. I don't know, I don't know why he's here then, Mr. Gray. He's here because he was duly noticed. Now, Mr. Jens, let me show you exhibit. Uh, I shall have marked as exhibit three. May I just, for the record, before we go on, Mr. Berry, uh, I noticed you did, you apparently took a, a notice of non-appearance here on the 22nd of November, uh, and that was clearly uh, well after the time that you and I both signed a stipulation to reschedule this deposition it was uh, for later in the month. I think, uh, I think you, it was off into December. I think you mistaken. have been uh, apprised of the circumstances of that non-appearance. I don't believe we have until today, we, Mr. Berry. We I don't know what ground you had to so make a non-appearance when you stipulated to a different date for the deposition later in time. Counsel, Go ahead, Mr. Berry. I, Go would, ahead. I would suggest that if you think it is more expedient, we have a referee appointed to oversee this deposition because I wish it, you go ahead with your question. You, you refuse to ask any questions. Can you please go ahead with your question? We're here for the question. Now, showing you what I shall have marked as Exhibit 3, do you recognize that as being a transcript of a, of a deposition you gave in the case of Religious Technology Center versus Church of the New Civilization? Usually when uh, these are handed to me, they are marked. Uh, there is a three fire. on the bottom, sir. No, but I mean they are marked uh, by the court reporter, so there is no problem of them being uh, confused. Can we do that? Could you please see that, Mr. Reporter? <coughs> Thank you. Now your question again, sir? Uh, what? Ask a question? Uh, sorry, we need to call emergency in the office and we did call for a couple minutes. So we now terminate this deposition again, counsel? Well, may I ask the witness to review this document during the break? Thank you. Well, I merely want to confirm that the testimony you gave on that occasion was true and correct when given. 